How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're talking about some terrifying haunted places in China. From the ghosts of hikers that went missing on the Great Wall of China, to a road that's allegedly so haunted motorists swear they've had to swerve around spirits. So join us as we take a look at the 10 most haunted places in China. And before we get into it, remember to hit that subscribe button for more creepy content just like this. Chao Nei No. 81 is a three-storey mansion in Beijing built in the French Baroque style. According to legend, it was built by members of the Qing Dynasty as a church for British expats living and working in Beijing. Sometime in the middle of the 20th century, the building became the home of a powerful Kuomintang Nationalist Party official. In 1949, the Communists defeated the Nationalists at the end of China's civil war. As the Communists marched into Beijing, the terrified official fled, leaving his wife behind. Devastated by her husband's abandonment, she hung herself. It's alleged her ghost has haunted the mansion ever since, and people have reported hearing her screams. Some say they've seen feet hanging from the rafters of dark rooms, but when they rush in to help, there's no one there. There are also rumours of homeless people that have ventured into the house looking for warmth and a place to sleep. They say they go in, but never come out. In 1807, a wealthy philanthropist had the Huguang Huiguang Opera House constructed in Beijing with only the best of intentions, to provide shelter for the poor. Unfortunately, the chosen site was partially on top of an ancient graveyard, and the deceased apparently didn't appreciate the disturbance of their final resting place. The building, which is now an opera house and museum, is said to be haunted. One story holds that, in the early 1900s, the owners hired a housekeeper who had been severely disfigured by leprosy. The man's appearance was thought to repel the ghosts, so they stayed away while he was there. After he left, the ghosts returned. Since then, people have heard screaming and scolding. Legend has it that a ghost who haunts the courtyard will scold people who throw stones in it. The 220-room Yunshan Fan Dian Hotel, which is located in the city Chengdu, north of Beijing, overlooks the Yangtze River. It was supposedly built on land that had once been part of the Qing Dynasty's royal gardens. The hotel is said to be haunted by no less a person than the Empress Dowager Si Qi. Her apparition has been reported by many hotel workers. They say she appears on the 8th floor and likes to look at her old gardens. Some have said they've seen her spirit sitting eerily in the shadows of certain rooms. When they look directly at her, she lunges at them but turns into a mist and disappears. There's also reports of a ghost of a man in western dress that appears on the same floor. He looks solemn and paces up and down the hallway. General Yuan Chonghuan had led the Ming army to a number of impressive victories. His enemies planted evidence that he had committed treason, and the emperor was thus convinced of Yuan's guilt. He condemned Yuan to death by Ling Qi, or slow slicing. According to legend, spectators at the execution ate slices of Yuan's body. His father was able to retrieve his head and placed it in the tomb, which is located in Beijing's Chongwenmen area. It's alleged that the general's angry ghost has been seen prowling the area and vowing vengeance ever since. The two Chu brothers originally came to Shanghai as migrant workers at the start of the 20th century. They dreamed of becoming rich and had the great fortune to find a warehouse that the Germans had abandoned after World War I. It was filled with paint, which was becoming increasingly expensive at the time. The brothers soon made a fortune selling their find. They then built twin mansions next to each other complete with gardens and an artificial lake. The Chu brothers became notorious for their lavish and luxurious lifestyle in a city racked by financial woes. They collected exotic animals like tigers, crocodiles and peacocks that roamed their gardens. At some point, however, the brothers mysteriously vanished and their enraged neighbours broke into the mansions and looted them. They also killed and ate some of the animals. Since then, people have claimed that the ghosts of the abandoned and slain animals haunt the Chu mansions, which have since fallen into disrepair. People have reported seeing and hearing strange creatures at the mansions. Night guards working at the Four Seasons Hotel across the street have sometimes gone to the hospital to be treated for unexplained animal bites. A woman claimed to have seen a dragon crawling on a crane on the property. 
In another incident, a mason attacked his manager. He claimed lizards had ordered him to attack anyone nearby. The Tsaiing Pun Community Complex, located on High Street, Hong Kong, was built in 1892. Its original purpose was quite benign, to provide housing for European nurses. The Japanese occupied Hong Kong for much of World War II, however, and according to legend, they often used the complex as a site for executions. After World War II, the complex was converted into an insane asylum that was abandoned after several fires. Since then, people have claimed to have seen various spirits at the complex, like headless poltergeists running down the corridors in the middle of the night. The second floor is said to be haunted by devilish looking creatures in traditional Chinese dress that spontaneously burst into fire. People have also reported hearing the footsteps and screams of a girl or woman who was attacked by Japanese soldiers during World War II. Chunmun Road, which was built in 1977, is a very busy highway that links the Hong Kong villages Chunwan and Chunmun. It's also supposedly one of the most haunted roads in the world. Chunmun Road has a reputation for being one of the world's most dangerous roads on account of all the mysterious traffic accidents that occur. The South China Morning Post reported that there had been 250 traffic accidents on Chunmun Road between the years 2010 and 2012. And bizarrely, it's just 12.1 miles long. Not surprisingly, it's thought that the ghosts are those of people who have died in traffic accidents. In 2003, for example, a bus crash along the road caused 21 fatalities. People claim to have seen or encountered the victims' ghosts. Worse, some stories hold that the ghosts are trying to add to their ranks. They will cause crashes by suddenly appearing in front of cars, forcing them to swerve at the last minute. Some people have claimed that the ghosts will seize control of their vehicle and drive them off the bridge. The Forbidden City, located in Beijing, was built in the early 15th century during the reign of Emperor Yongle, who was infamous for his wickedness. On one occasion, he tried to suppress a sex scandal by slaughtering up to 2,800 people. The Forbidden City, which was used as the Imperial Palace until 1912, has been the site of many murders, assassinations, executions and similar events. It's no wonder then that some of the victims' ghosts are said to roam the city. The doorways within the buildings have special high steps that people have to step over. The Chinese believe that ghosts can't jump, and the high steps would thus trap them in a single room. Since the Forbidden City was open to the public in 1940, people have reported seeing ghostly dogs. Different people have claimed to have seen the ghosts of eunuchs, brides and soldiers, while others have heard women talking and laughing or music playing. There are also stories about a woman in white who wanders about crying. As recently as 1995, one of the guards encountered a woman in black whom he initially thought was a trespasser. When she turned to speak to him, he saw that she had no face. The guards make a point of closing the city to visitors at 5pm every day, so there's very little chance it was an actual intruder. Fengdu sits on the Ming Hill at the northern end of the Yangtze River. Built 2000 years ago, it's often called the City of Ghosts. Legend has it that during the Han Dynasty, a pair of officials from the Imperial Court, Yin Changshen and Wang Fangping, came to the city to practice Taoist rituals that eventually made them immortal. Combining their surnames produces the phrase Yin Wang, which means King of Hell, and they were said to drag people into the underworld. Fengdu is home to three sites that ghosts must visit before they visit the underworld. Nothing to be done bridge, ghost torturing pass and Tianzi, son of heaven palace. Ghosts must take tests at each place. Those who pass will go to heaven, while those who fail will go to hell. Other sites in Fengdu include a large temple built during the Tang Dynasty that depicts the torments of hell. A far more recent attraction is the Last Glance at Home Tower, which was built in 1985. It honours the site where spirits condemned to hell could take one last glance at their families. Sinister laughing is often heard late at night. Neighbouring villagers say they hear all kinds of strange noises coming from the area. They say it sounds like someone is being tortured. The Great Wall is another site within haunted China. 
Originally believed to be around 5,000 miles long, measurements taken between 2007 and 2012 show that it's actually 13,170 miles long. Parts of the wall date back to the 7th century BC. One to two million workers died during the centuries of construction, and their ghosts are said to haunt the wall ever since. Visitors have reported seeing ghosts along the wall or hearing the sounds of marching footsteps without seeing anybody there. Some visitors have reported sudden feelings of uneasiness or attacks of nausea, pain or headaches. Others have reported being slapped, punched or grabbed by unseen beings. Local legend warns that visitors will be haunted and harassed by the ghosts of the dead workers until they scare them away by stepping over a line of firecrackers. The Wild Wall, which is located north of Beijing, is said to be the most haunted part of the wall. Several hikers have actually died in this area under mysterious circumstances. Their ghosts have been seen prowling the wall ever since. Well, that's the end of another episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying our content, remember to hit that upward facing thumb. Subscribe if you're new or leave us a comment down below. We love reading them. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. Pew!